Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn makes a request of Steffi today on The Bold and the Beautiful Thomas and Hope Canoodle, and RG puts Zend on notice. Finn is brooding at his desk in his office, staring at his laptop. Knowing how important the Forrester family is to him, a nurse arrives and offers him an upbeat update on Eric. As he looks at Thomas on his screen, Finn mutters that Eric isn't the only Forrester he's worried about. Steffi remembers back to asking Finn to put Sanders charges out of his mind in the main office of Forrester. Hope enters and finds she is distracted. Steffi admits to being concerned. What about Thomas? Hope inquires, Steffi affirms. She is concerned about things from his past that could drag him down again. When Thomas steps in, Steffi expresses her admiration for his ability to overcome his background. Thomas attributes much of this to Hope, saying, You don't have to worry about our relationship or anything else from the past. I'm looking forward to the future and all the joys it will bring. As she stares up at him, Hope touches the ring on her necklace. RG offers Luna an update on Eric and wonders what she's been up to in the design office. Did you do anything fun last night? Luna refuses to conceal secrets from him and simply states, I was with Zend. She reveals that she thought she was eating dinner with him, but it was Zend. Zend thinks back to his disastrous supper with Luna and attempts to kiss her in the showroom. He laughs. Zend recalls Luna putting him on notice and him telling RJ that he's a very fortunate man. He lets out a sigh. RJ discovers in the design office that Zend sent her a note, knowing she would assume it was from him. He inquires as to whether he happened upon her. Luna confesses to kissing her on the cheek. When Zend steps in, RJ screams, You can't find a girl to kiss you, so you have to kiss my girlfriend. Zend claims it was all in good fun. RJ isn't having it. Zend laughs, saying that he grew up in Europe and that this is nothing. RJ accuses him of attempting to contact him through Luna. He recaps Zend's problems and then kisses his lover. His tolerance with Zend has run out. He won't let him make any moves on Luna. Grab your sketchbook and back off. Steffi had to leave the main office and Hope informs Thomas that she believes their relationship should be kept private. Thomas believes that having the support of their families would be beneficial. Hope claims that the only opinions that matter are their own. Thomas tells her how wonderful she is and how thankful he is for every moment they have together. He can't wait for that ring to fall off her necklace and onto her finger. Hope and Thomas are giggling as she expresses her gratitude for his proposal. Thomas is aware of this and wishes she had said yes, but he does not want her to commit to a wedding she is not prepared for. He has a little more time. They exchange kisses. Finn and Steffi kiss at Finn's office. He thanks her for accommodating him and informs her that Eric is improving. Given everything else that's going on, such as Vanda spreading those lies, she's relieved. Finn reports that Xander has returned. I met with him. Steffi is enraged. You know how I feel about that. Finn claims to have called. Steffi exclaims, so hang up, that's simple. Finn complains that he appears desperate. Steffi desires that her husband be able to assist her brother. Finn believes Thomas committed atrocities that she does not wish to confront. He believes Thomas is to blame for Emma Barber's death more than ever. Steffi casts a glare. Zend has left the design studio, and RG tells Luna that his cousin was attempting to contact him through her. He quickly clarifies that he didn't mean to imply she's not attractive. Luna believes it's a mix of the two and swears she would never have met Zend if she had known. She truly believed the invitation came from RJ. She expresses to Luna that her heart belongs to him. He responds, love you. Zend sees them kiss through a crack in the door. Thomas nuzzles Hope in the main office and tells her how much he adores her. She desires him as well. They kiss passionately and then discuss her lack of preparation for the engagement. Thomas believes that a yes is just around the corner. In the main office, Thomas explains that he is now a completely different person who is deserving of hope and her love. 
Hope kisses him while holding his face in her hands. They had a passionate kiss. On the bold and the beautiful, Finn presses Steffi to confront Thomas about Emma's death, while Liam is taken aback by Thomas' proposal to Hope. Steffi tells her husband in Finn's office that he needs to abandon this. Emma died as a result of her own reckless driving, according to the police. Her own or Thomas's? Finn inquires. Sander stated that Thomas was pursuing Emma in order to prevent her from reaching Hope. He observed Thomas following her on the security camera, and the car's GPS directed him to Mulholland. Steffi insists it wasn't murder. Finn claims there is evidence. Steffi reiterates that the police investigated and cleared Thomas. It's dangerous, she said, explaining why she didn't want him digging all these things up. She isn't claiming Thomas is harmful. It could set off her brother's retaliation. He wonders, do you think that he could become obsessed again? Steffi is hoping not, because my brother has changed. Finn knows why she wants to protect him, but he believes she should go to Thomas and ask him about Emma. The truth, they say, will set you free. However, according to Soaps.com's latest bold and beautiful spoilers for the week of Monday, January 8, through Friday, January 12, 2024, it might just as easily send Thomas to prison. In other news, RJ and Zend become rich and thorn as their rivalry heats up, and Liam hears news that leaves him speechless. Continue reading for more information on these teasers and more. In Monday's recap, Luna receives a disturbing surprise, and Thomas requests that Steffi intercede with Finn. Zend and RG's disagreement over RG's work at Forrester Creations heats up. Stephanie isn't around to explain that RG is the new Ridge, and hence will always be the Forrester's golden boy, which works in Zend's advantage. Luna is invited to a romantic supper by an unknown person. There's nothing unusual about her dating only one guy. Is there one? Thomas tries to persuade Steffi that he and Hope are good for one other. Hey, she can't possibly break my heart any more often than Liam broke yours, he should say. Xander has chosen the figurative hill he will die on. As a result, he insists to Finn that Thomas is a killer. Luna is astonished to find Zend, rather than RJ, when she arrives for her romantic date, as she is unfamiliar with the Forrester family's cunning. Finn presses Steffi to confront Thomas about Emma's death, if only Steffi could be certain that the response she receives will not be shocking. Take a look back at Thomas' past and a peep into his future as he celebrates his perfect. It's awful to be the last to find out, isn't it, Liam? The waffler finally learns of Thomas' proposal to Hope. Do we even need to tell you how surprised he is? He is, after all. He is, of course. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.